we decide where to be um, legalized. Um, like she said, it puts a lot of groups at risk. Um, Um, it's consideration for physician-assisted suicide may stem from socioeconomic circumstance and not from voluntary desire. Um, basically, physician-assisted suicide is the cheap way out. It's cheaper than end-of-life care. It's cheaper than like putting, being put in a hospice. It's cheaper on your family. Um, so basically, people will feel guilty, or uh, if an older elderly person, they feel guilty of being a burden on their family economically and emotionally, and basically it, people are given the option to die, but not the option to be healed and cared for when they are ill. Um, um, the alternative solution to, um, to physician-assisted suicide, like uh, Maria said, is palliative care. Um, which offers satisfaction to both patients and family members. Um, in the National Library of Medicine, there was a survey of family members who um, participated in palliative care, and it says that palliative care showed benefit with 65% of all palliative care patients' family members reporting that their emotional or spiritual needs were met, as compared to 35% of usual care patients' family members. 67% um, of the palliative care patients family members were reported confidence in one or more self-efficacy domains as compared to 44% of usual care patients' family members. Our study shows that palliative care consult consultation is associated with improved satisfaction with attention to family and enhanced self-efficacy. Um, in a study from the University of Chicago um, for the Geriatrics Rotation for Internal Medicine Residents, um, it says that in-home palliative care significantly increased patient satisfaction while reducing use of med medical services and cost of medical care at the end of life. Um, palliative care is becoming more popular in the United States, eliminating the need for physician-assisted suicide. Um, for, this is, um, it says recent public opinion research by the National Polling Firm Public Opinion Strate Strategies has shown that once informed about palliative care, 92% of Americans, American public are highly likely to consider palliative care for themselves or their family members if they have a serious illness. Um, also, doctors, um, our, um, our opponents only consider the emotions of the patient and not the doctor. Um, doctors feel pressured into taking life. Um, the doctors from Oregon, for example, um, feel intimidated by forceful patients who have persevered in their quest for physician-assisted suicide, even when the doctor was unwilling to participate. Um, it also says that after Oregon passed its assisted suicide law, 67% of the state's physicians said they would refuse to participate in an assisted suicide, even those physicians who have helped pay patients terminate their lives said they did so really. And that is from CNN. Um, a doctor is putting his or her reputation at risk by participating in PASS. Um, CNN also stated that their rationale is, um, I don't want to get a reputation, I don't want to participate because this is a small community. Um, in the Portland metro area, you can get that reaction in other areas you do. Um, there's also a small amount of doctors willing to perform physician-assisted suicide. This is from the National Center for Biotechnology and Information. Um, a substantial portion of physicians in the United States report that they receive requests for physician-assisted suicide and euthanasia, and about 7% of those who responded to our survey have compiled to such requests at these points.